Hi, today we're going to be talking about how to replace a breaker or put in a solar breaker without having to suit up. So we want to stay below the class one rating for arc flash, <coughs> basically working de-energized. So we're going to make sure the system is de-energized before we work in the panel. That's how, our, uh, how we try to do it, so it's as safe as possible. It is always best practices to work de-energized as much as humanly possible, anything you do. Remember, replacing a breaker is considered a class one arc flash um, hazard, especially in the 240 and above. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the panel. We're also gonna be practicing our lockout tag out procedures to make sure that's happening properly. The first thing we wanna do before we even get up to that is make sure we're wearing full pants, full sleeves, um, and gloves. This is just basic practices of protection on job sites with leather boots if possible. So then again, we want safety glasses. It's always a good idea to have safety glasses and a hard hat um, if necessity uh, states. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come up. We wanna make sure the dead front is still on the panel and the panel is protecting, you know, the dead front is protecting us from any arc flash that could happen. With the NFPA 70, E uh, 2021 they've come out with a new standard saying that basically we have to protect ourselves from Charging and discharging a brand new breaker So this is a breaker we need to worry about if we're dealing with a breaker that has been freshly put in So if we have a fresh breaker that's been just you know just been installed We want to make sure that that is not turned on without the dead front on protecting us So if that was something if we had left the dead front off that'd be something we'd also have to wear protection for so the first thing, we're going to come up, we've got our panel here, we want to make sure we tell the customer, hey, we're shutting down the system, the power should be off for 20 to 30 minutes while we're changing out the breaker, okay? If this was a system where we have uh, PG or SMUD or whatever the utility come out and actually pull the meter and have them cap that off, so then, then we could work on the main breaker if we were doing a D-rate. This job, D-rate's already been done, we're just going to be replacing the solar breaker this could be because the solar breaker is bad or the very first time it's being put in, but any new breaker we put in, we want to make sure we safe off. So before we do anything, we're going to come up here to the panel. I'm a right-handed, so I always do everything in the panel with my left hand to turn off the power, just in case there was an arc flash that it would, I didn't be my non-dominant hand. That's just my procedure. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to put my hand on the panel, make sure there's only one hand in the panel at any one time, so I'm as safe as possible for me to kind of shocking or any other damage. I'm gonna put my hand on the panel, make sure I've got a good grip of the handle. I'm gonna turn my head, push my head away from the panel, and go ahead and turn it off. Once it's off, I can grab my drill, go ahead and pull the screw, take this off. Now, this is still not a safe panel at that point. You wanna check for voltage at this point. And we do this in two ways. The safest way to do it is with non-contact voltage testers. This is not the only way you want to do it, but making sure that we're testing and being careful not to touch anything that we get a problem with, checking to see if there's any beeping happening. Now, we'd always want to check our testers ahead of time, maybe putting in an outlet to make sure the tester is actually working before we do this, checking it, making sure we're dead. Now, once that happens, then I can come in with my tester and back up that. So I'll go ahead and put it on there. Remember, we always want to use testers that are set for class three, 600 volts. That's where we want to be in our level of, of working. So 600 volts and below, so 480 panels and below. And we want to be class three, basically working indoors, you know, non-transmission line type work. So we're gonna go ahead and test here. We're gonna test line one, line two. Nothing comes up. We come over here, we've got our meter uh, on the ground now. We're gonna try line one, line two, nothing. We know the meter's now dead. I'm a big fan of magnets off to the side so I don't have to worry about dropping the meter into the panel. Also, a lot of the meters now come with lights that allow you to be able to see it and see it on the bottom there so we can test if we are in a weird position or testing for amperage. Lastly, what I'll usually look on here before I do any work is I'll look at the dots running across the screen on the meter. The meter will then usually tell me that I have, if the dots are moving, we have flow. Either way, I don't care. 
that's definitely not a panel I want to be touching. That means something didn't turn off in the main breaker. I've had panels where the main breaker did not turn off. Even though I turned it off, the power flow didn't stop. So then from there, we're going to go ahead and replace our breaker. But before we do that, we want to make sure we practice our lockout tagout procedures. So the one, we have a couple different versions here. But we want to make sure we're using our lockout tagout. We're putting it on our breaker, cinching it down. We're going to go ahead and close it. We take our, our lock with only one key, remember? And I always want to make sure the tag is facing into the panel to protect the panel from the lock. So what I mean by that is I'm going to put it through. I'm going to put the tag in, and I'm going to leave the lock on the outside. Now, these have my name and my phone number on here, and I'm the only one with one key to this lock. And that's always how it is with our company. Once we've done that, we can come in here, pull out the breaker, put our new breaker in, get it ready to go. If we have to leave or do something like that, we want to make sure we put the dead front back on and re-tag it. But for this one, we're right here. We're going to go ahead and take our, our key here. We're going to go ahead and unlock it and just reverse the procedure. We can go ahead and pull off the lock very carefully. Make sure we're not dropping the lock in any others where we don't want that lock to fall into. Go ahead and pull off our lockout tagout lock. Being careful not to turn on the breaker at this point. We can go ahead and pull out our tester here. We're going to go ahead and put the dead front back on. Now, one thing I really have a problem with is people that do this. They're shoving the door all the way up to the top. In a lot of panels, there is live wires above that top packet or the actual busing is above there. So we want to keep the panel as flat as we can. We want to slide it up and over and slide it in. Go ahead and put our screw back on. Get that in. So the door is ready to go. Then we're gonna go ahead and proceed to do the activation. Again, this is something that in 240 up to 700 volts, we wanna make sure we keep a three foot clearance of anybody around us. I usually like to see that at five to six feet and push everybody away. So at that point, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. One hand on the breaker. Once we got the one hand on the breaker, we're gonna go ahead and turn our head and remember, we're firing this breaker up for the first time, and I always recommend turning away on any breaker we're firing up in general. We're gonna go ahead and fire the breaker back up. Same thing, when we're firing the solar up, we wanna do the same thing, that is still a 220 breaker. Turn our head away, and turn her on. Now we can actually look on the screen, make sure lights came on. We don't have to verify voltage per se here because we can actually verify it on the screen here that we have flow happening on both sides. And then we can actually check the items downstream, which are a little bit more protected for voltage if we need to. So, as always, guys, like, share, and have a great day.